this is Hi Our Restaurant in Canley Vale in Sydney. And like a lot of people, I first came for the food, but I'm back for the art. See the whole restaurant outside, inside, top to bottom is covered in all of these incredible artworks. And I wanted to meet the person behind them. There is so much going on in this restaurant. There's so much on the walls, on the ceiling. When did you first start making all of this stuff? Uh, I can't remember when I first kicked it off, but I'm a refugee myself, so a lot of my artwork is a um, memory of my childhood. Back in Vietnam, I was a very uh, naughty boy. <laughs> Back then, we don't have any toys. Mm. So I have to make up my own toys, you know. In the rice field, pick up a leaf, I can make something out of it. Now, that's why a lot of my artwork, I use a lot of the recycled stuff. I try to get what I used to make back in my childhood. So this is, I think, one of my favorite artworks that I saw when I walked in. It's Darth Vader. There's a floppy disk, there's some spoons, there's some chopsticks. What's going on here? That body represents me. You're Darth Vader. Yep, and the stormtrooper is the, my kid. It's represent that he used to fight all the time like that, but now, instead of uh, holding all the fighting, you know, I'm serving rice and look, father and son. I can imagine owning a restaurant gets quite stressful. Does your art help you to wind down and relax? I use a lot of origami mm. in my artwork. And you know, origami, is, you have to be very gentle. So in the way that when I'm angry or I'm stressed out, by folding origami, it's like I meditate. If you pull it too hard or you stretch it when, you know, maybe it will rip. Yeah. In the artwork, mm. it actually has helped me to let it go. Calm. Yeah, let it go. Yeah. I've also noticed a lot of Buddhas around. What, what's your relationship with Buddhism? For me, it's not religion, it's philosophy. What he bring out is you don't need to go to temple, just the little thing you do every day. Above all, just be happy, be nice to one another. Yeah, yeah. That's it. I try to show people that uh, through art, your emotion, your feeling at the mm -hmm. time. If you create a bad art and people in the bad mood at the time, actually they connect it in a bad way. So when I'm angry, the, the portrait or something look angry, but I, would, I don't want to show it. Right, because you might make other people feel Yes. Angry. So only when I feel happy again, then I put colour or whatever, then I feel, I feel life. When they look at uh, Vincent van Gogh painting, I see a, a, lot, a lot of anger. Right. I know he's a famous painter, but for me, I don't like it. For me, the best painting is the two or three years old, they bring home every day, and they give to their parents, stick on the fridge. Aww. <laughs> Sometimes people, you know, look at the shop, they think, it's, this guy must be a horror, you know what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. But every piece of my artwork is a story behind it. To tell a story from the people who come before you, you know, your mom, your parent, your grandparent. Now it's my job to pass it on to, you know, my kid, you know, the next generation. Mm. 